Hey guys, welcome back to B2B, Back to the Basics with DIY Mixers Crew. I am your host, Shake and Vape 007, along with Folk Art. Welcome back, Black Mamba. He's back with it today with us. And today we are going to talk about recipe blueprinting and layers. So, to begin, so what's going on, Black Mamba? We missed you last week. Sorry to hear about the news, what was going on with the fam. You said that everything was okay. I'm glad to hear that. So how you been, man? What's going on? Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? I've been pretty good. Um, yeah, I had some uh, some family issues to take care of and everything, but everything is working out well now. Um, everybody's fine now, I should say. Um, first off, I'd like to say happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. You know, got to share the yeah. love. That's right. Um, secondly, I've been pretty good. You know, I've been, been trying to, do a little bit more mixing and everything, been single flavor testing, all this stuff. Um, I did get, just now get another package from Bryson from, Bryson from Flavora sent me another package today. And um, he actually let me pick out one of these pretty cool Flavora hats, which I really oh. love. Yeah, I, I really love this thing. Um, and he sent me 13 more flavors to mix with, so. Awesome. Awesome. He's being that he's being awesome. mighty good to you. Yeah. I tell you what, Favora stepped up to the plate, uh, you know, for the, the community. Um, they really give back to the community. So big shout out to Flavor Art for doing that. Um, you know, that's just that's just friggin' awesome. You know, shout out to Bryson and the crew over there at um Favora. So um so for me, uh, if you guys have any questions in the chat, make sure you tag us at B two B. Or DIY Mixers Crew, either or. Sorry, I'm not able to see the chat today because I'm in transition of my internet service provider. Um, make sure for you mixers, new mixers out there, you take advantage of our discount codes, especially Flavor Art. Visit their website. Or, no, I'm sorry, not what Flavor Art. Uh, Liquid Barn, www.liquidbarn.com. Use code Mixers Crew, get 15% off your total order. You get 15 or uh, uh, 50, 15 percent off your total order, and you get free shipping over 50 bucks. And go over and visit bullcityflavors.com and get six percent off your total order. You get free shipping over 75 dollars. But once again, like I said, big shout out to Flavor Art and Bryson for hooking up Black Mamba with the cool ass hat, which we didn't even get, which is okay, which is okay, <laughs> and the flavors, the flavor packs that you got sent. So let's get into this uh, blueprinting. 
that we're talking about folk art. Let's let's talk a little bit about this. Okay. We got recipe blueprinting. Um, so I'm assuming that we're going to be doing talking about some top layers and you know some flavor profiles and stuff like that. So let's dig into this a little bit. Okay. Um, well, first I want to say that um, <clears throat> this this is uh, a little more advanced than. Uh, uh, a beginner mixer wants to get into. Um, once once you start getting into your single flavor testing and you've, you've tested a, a lot of flavors and stuff um, and you've put together a few recipes, maybe they're not fantastic, but they're, they're, they're good enough, you know, to be your all day vape for a while. You know, you may want to, uh, to start thinking about developing a more complex, a more vibrant recipe. And when you, when you start to try to put these ingredients together, sometimes it can get a little confusing. Um, you know, you, you may say, well, I, I want to use this certain flavoring in this, and I want to use that one, and this, and you just start putting stuff in there. And then when you vape it, it just doesn't really have that texture or flavor that you're, that you're really wanting. So the best way that I've found to kind of break down a recipe is to think about it in layers. Um, can, can y'all guys hold on just for a second? I'm going to change over to my hot spot. I think we're lagging. Yeah, just not a, little a problem. Bit. That's I th- okay. I think, uh, hold while, on just a second, guys. About that. Yep. Not a problem. Not a problem. So while folk art's doing that, I can understand where he's talking about is like, you know, picking out the specific layers, um, in a recipe as far as blueprinting. Um, you know, there's a few thoughts that I have. I will wait until uh folk art switches over the hot spot but speaking of folk art shout out to folk art who's on in the mix yeah with id 10t mill nikon and chiba stiba when they were talking about caramels or caramels on into their components and really critically look at them uh when you're trying to develop a recipe let me show this on the screen for everybody here All right, can can y'all see that on there? Yes. I, hope, I hope you can. Yeah. So <clears throat> there's basically um, three components to a recipe. You have your your top layer. You have your your body or your middle layer, and then you have your accent layer. Now. These layers can get very complex. You can, you know, play play around with them uh, with different flavorings and stuff. But they basically boil down to those three layers. Especially if you're doing bakeries. Uh, if if you're doing more linear flavors like just uh, like a grape soda or um, I don't know, uh, like a a watermelon uh, flavored uh, Jolly Rancher. You know, there's not many layers that's going to be in that. Uh, but in, in a lot of bakeries and more complex recipes, they'll, they'll, you'll have at least two, if not three, layers in it. And so this is what I use when I'm trying to develop a recipe. Um, you need to think about the profile. All right, The profile is your end product that you want it to taste like. So in the profile here, you want to describe what you want this profile to turn out like. Don't think about the flavorings. Don't think about the percentages. Just write down what you want the recipe to turn out like. You know, maybe you've had a great um, apple pie. Describe, write down how that apple pie tastes. You know, is it flaky? Uh, How much cinnamon do you taste in it? You know, write all those little details down. And then once you have that and you understand what what type of profile that you're going after you need to start looking at the layers now guys if y'all have any questions uh feel free to jump in here okay black black mama or anybody in the chat either okay yeah i'm just i'm just listening so far you know trying to get the knowledge and then i'll ask some questions okay so when i when i begin uh after i get the profile down the let's let's say we're doing a uh uh, a, a waffle with with strawberry syrup on it. Okay, 
you want to describe that as best you can in that profile. So then you have your three layers here. I always start with this, with the body layer here. So in this part, you want to describe what the main body of the recipe will be. So if it's a um, like a cream based recipe, so you're making a strawberries and cream, that cream is going to be your body layer. You want to write down uh, what type of cream base you want. Do, do you want it to be a light cream? Do you want it to be a heavy cream? Do you want it to ha be a, like a buttery cream? Um, you know, do, it, does it, do you want it to be a sweet cream? Write down everything that you are wanting to be in that body, uh, in that body layer. And describe it as detailed as possible, because when you have all those little details in there, you'll be you'll be it, it'll be easier to pick out the flavors that you want to use, especially if you have done a lot of single flavor testing. So once you have described all of that, just go down here to the the flavorings and just uh, just, just type in a write. You can you can write this out. Uh, what type of flavoring that you think would be best that fits your description of that body. And it may just be one flavoring. It may be two flavorings. It may be three flavorings. I probably wouldn't go more than three flavorings on, on the body. One or two would probably suffice. And don't only do uh, one body. Do a couple of them. Um, so that... So that uh, when, when you combine two different creams together, you may get one flavor. But if you combine two different ones together, you may get another flavor. And already have those mixed up so that you can vape on those. Once you've done that, vape them, test them, write down what you taste, and see if it fits what you've described in this body layer. And that's basically it for, the, for that layer. Yes. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, I kind of oh, – go ahead. Go ahead, Black Mamba. Okay, sorry if I interrupt him, but um, it's kind of no. it's it's kind of like um, like saying like if I wanted like a a sweet but like rich creamy cream, exactly. like um, like I would basically write that down and I would try to find different concentrates that can that can fit in that role. Exactly. And to me, uh, a pretty sweet creamy note would be creme fraiche and uh, Vienna cream. Exactly. And that's and that's what you would write, right there. And the percentages, obviously. Yeah. Uh, based on uh, you know your your knowledge of your of your testing, on the single flavors. Yeah. So, yep. and that's so, yeah. So, go ahead, Bogart. No, go ahead, David. No, I was going to say. So basically, it boils down to is trying to get the best combination of flavors to kind of represent what you're trying to get in that layer. Um, and there's different ways you can do that, um, whereas like buttercream or something with a different combination of cream might get that representation that you're looking for. But, you know, maybe utilizing two other different flavors to kind of get the same profile in that layer would work better. You know what I mean? It, it, because at the end of the day, there are some flavor concentrates out there that we use that don't play well with others. Exactly. Um, there might be a, a different flavor company like Flavor Art. Uh, might not play with, say, like a, a, a different type of profile, like a concentrate from Capella. Whereas if you mix like a Flavor West and a Flavor Art, they might work phenomenally. You know what I mean? And it's it, it, it's just trying to get that combination together to represent that layer and use the best possible ingredient. And it, it, it saves you time. Yeah. And, you know and I mean? that's... Instead of trial and error. Right. And, and, and that's why I say make two or three different flavor combinations. You know, don't don't just settle on on the first two that that you pick because there's there's you know uh, twenty five different creams out there you could use. So you know, play around with with the different flavorings and and try to get the best pairing uh, or the best cream that you think best describes what you've written down. Okay, any questions, Black Mama? Um, no. I mean, okay. it's it's pretty much understanding. Okay. I mean, basically, like I said, it's. It's basically like, basically, you're taking down notes no matter, on every step that you're going through. Exactly. And you're you're going back to the notes to figure out like what suits you best, and then 
like what do you think would be the most the most appealing exactly and uh, you know this this is pretty advanced stuff and it's 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 simple but it's not easy because it does take a lot of time and a lot of effort to 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 go through this but once you get this system you know in your brain and and you have it all down in, in your head uh it'll make things so much easier for you when you start developing a recipe um it was somebody that asked something in the chat about um, a link to this uh, blueprint. I do actually have a link on our Facebook page, and I'll post it in the chat here. And and, and that's the thing too. While folk art's doing that, guys, um, it, it it in the long run it saves you the frustration and the time when you're doing recipe creation. Yeah. Because not only are you, um, when you're doing things side by side where you're utilizing a certain group of concentrates versus another uh, group of concentrates, once you do that flavor testing on those group of con concentrates for that specific layer, it'll help you in the long run. That way it's not taking you batch after batch after batch after batch trying to create that, that cream uh, stone or that cream base or that cream or that crust or whatever you're trying to do to try to work well with other flavors. Yeah. You know, it's to get to, it's, it's, it helps you to get to the, the quickest way possible to get your recipe done and, and to get it out there in the community. Exactly. So, uh, let's, let's move on to the next step in this. Once you have your, uh, once you have your base, uh, your body layer, then you can uh, start thinking about your top layer. Now, the top layer, the way I think of the top layer is it, it best defines um, the, the first flavor that you taste when, you, when, when you're vaping or, or eating anything. If you, if you bite into a, a, um, to a cherry pie, you know, the first thing that you're going to get is you're going to get cherry. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's, that tells you that that's your top note. That's what you want to be the top note. Most of the time it'll be, uh, berries. It can be, or, or fruits. I mean, uh, other times it, it could be a nut or, or maybe a spice, but most of the time it's going to be a fruit. So think of this top layer as your, your fruit, your, uh, the sweet fruit part, uh, and you basically do the same thing in this that you did in the body. Just describe it as best you can. Is it, if you're using a, a strawberry, do you want an authentic strawberry? Do you want a more uh, candy type strawberry? Um, you know, just describe it as best you can. And then based on what you have tested, single flavor testing, what do you think best fits that description that you wrote down in there? And just write them in there. Do, uh, you know, one or two or three different um, pairings. You know, maybe you only have to use one ingredient. Maybe you only want to use uh, uh, Capella Sweet Strawberry. But perhaps you can. You want to take a, like, Capella Sweet Strawberry and TFA Ripe Strawberry and combine those to make something a little bit different. Uh, just, you know, think about your single flavor testing when you write those in there. And do about two or three of those, and then test it. See if it see if it does taste like what you wrote up here in the description. If not, go to the next batch that you mixed up and and try that out. And and, and that's a good thing to do because depending on what type of profile that you're chasing, um, it makes sense because if you're it it, it takes that extensive work out of it. Like if you're when you're testing your strawberries, for instance, if you're going after a candy profile, you might mix up two strawberries like folk art says and say, well, you know what? This this isn't going to work as a candy, but those other two strawberries that I mixed up, that's going to work. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and it's just that that playing with those two, you know, those two blueprintings that you do that you write down to come up with the best solution for, for the recipe. Mm hmm. So what do you think, Black Mama? Have I totally confused you? <laughs> no. Um, well, I really, going back to the strawberries, I really use, you know, uh, ripe strawberry and uh, fresh strawberry a lot. So, I mean, they do make a pretty good strawberry, but 
going into like actually like bending two flavors to make a good flavor yes it is very important to sit there and take notes and and do all that stuff and yeah. that, that's what i've been doing you know for the past few recipes that i've mixed i i would go back in them and i would revamp them and revamp them and revamp them i mean just like the uh the mix that you made for the uh, new york new york form I mean, mm-hmm. if you look at it, it says B3. So obviously you had to go back in and, and look at the recipes and figure out, oh, hey, maybe this will be better with this. Exactly. Exactly. And that and that's that's the process that now that when when you when you have done the, the steps that I'm talking about now and you actually have those finished e juices and you have three different versions of them because you, you have um, these different combinations of 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 layers in, in those different f- formulas, uh, that that's, that's what you call different batches. And so the next step after that is, okay, well, wh- which one of those batches, um, tastes more like what is described in the profile. The profile is king. Just, just keep that in mind. If it doesn't taste like your profile that you wrote down, then it's, it's not right. You, you, yeah. you know, when you, when you, uh, when you decide that that's the profile that you want to go for, try to go for that profile. So, um, so yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let me. Uh... Well, no, that I mean that that's the thing. I mean, you make a, a great point, and it, it just helps eliminate a lot of the guesswork. What Black Mamba was going back to <clears throat> when you did like recipes one, two, and three. If you didn't do like blueprinting on those recipes. Just, let's just say you had a basic strawberries and cream where, you know, you were using like two creams, a strawberry, this, that, and the other. And that's the only recipe that you, you did. That's the only thing that you wrote down on paper. That's the only thing that you put in all the flavors or ELR, whatever, uh, you know, whatever software that you use to create your recipe. And then you taste it. And you're like, you know what? This doesn't taste like that that strawberries and cream yogurt or that strawberry pie or whatever that I'm, I'm trying to make that's not what it tasted like so you, you end up taking that 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 bottle that 30 mil bottle that tester that you made and then you throw it out and then you start again okay you go back to paper and you write down and you you say to yourself well you know what this didn't work this didn't work this didn't work you waited that three days for that to sleep to give it a try or however long you let it sleep off the scale whatever and then you waste it, and then you go back on. So basically, what it does is it, 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 it's like a snowball effect to where it just adds that time. It adds that time to to creating that recipe. You know, so when you're blueprinting that recipe, it it it, it, it seriously, folks, it really cuts that time down by blueprinting these recipes. You know, I mean, instead of just just trying to build one recipe creation and then saying, you know what, that didn't work, so I'm just gonna glob on or throw some shit on top of that see if that changes okay that didn't change i'm just gonna throw shit on top of that okay that didn't change it i'm gonna throw some more shit on top of that okay that didn't change it (laughs) and then the next thing you know next thing you know you're a month and a half and you're creating this recipe and you're like what the fuck i can't get this you know what i mean and 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 you're you're like whacking your brains out it's because you have all those layers in there and you're, you're trying to throw stuff on top of it that's not working you know what I mean? And it all goes back to what Fokar started talking about early on in this episode is about is about getting those layers down. You know, once you get those layers down, you, once you find that layer that works and you put it in that juice, then you can build on that layer and go to your next one in order to get it to work. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it, exactly. And it's, one of the things one of the things that I uh, I stress the most because when I first started mixing, well, I'm still brand new to mixing, but a couple of weeks ago when I was mixing, instead of, you know, sitting there and actually blueprinting and everything, I would make up a recipe and I'd be like, hmm, it's missing this. Let me just put this concentrate inside of here. No, I shouldn't have did that. I should have just slowly took my time with the recipe, figuring out what goes where, what goes with what, things like that. Instead, I was sitting there like, yeah, let me just dump this uh, flavor in here. See how it is. Yeah, and, and there's, there's, 
there's there's nothing wrong with with doing it like that. I mean, if if you don't mind, uh, you know, taking a chance on it not being good and and using up your your, your flavorings and stuff, uh, or if if you just want to experiment, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, this 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 blueprinting is really made for that for that person who is is seriously wanting to create a specific profile. Especially let's let's just say for instance, one of your coworkers says, "Man, I really love your juice. Can you make a, you know, whatever?" And uh, maybe it's a, a apple pie a la mode, all right? Well, you know what that tastes like. You know, you know it's apple pie. You got some pie crust. You got ice cream. If if you if you go home and then just start grabbing up vanilla bean ice cream, pie crust, uh, maybe an Eden apple or a Flavora uh, apple pie filling or something, and just start pouring it together, you don't know whether it's going to turn out or not. If you sit down and you go through this blueprint. And really think about what each layer is supposed to taste like and do it. I guarantee that one, two, maybe three batches, you're going to have a really good, authentic apple pie a la mode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, all of us all of us can't get lucky and just throw flavors in a bottle like the Boss <laughs> Reserve. I just had to throw that out there. You know? ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> throw them all in there and... That's right. Oh shit! You know, here we go. Just throw a bunch of shit in there. Let's see what I taste, and it's good to go. Yeah, I'm just messing with me. <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyhow, yeah. so uh, where are we at now as far as um, okay? So so, so the so the the last layer here that you want to think about is the accent layer. Um, the accent layer is just what it sounds like. It's just an accent to the recipe. So let's just say uh, like that uh, strawberries and, and waffle recipe. You've, you've written down the, the profile. It's, let's say in, in the profile you wrote, um, you know, a crispy fried waffle with maple syrup and whipped cream on top. Okay. Well, the accent layer would probably be that whipped cream. That's going to be your accent layer. You, you don't want it to be overpowering. You don't want it to, uh, to you know, to drowned out the body or the top note. You just want a little bit of topping on it. That would be your accent. So that's what you want to write in here. Just write down, you know, what what you're looking for. You know, a sweet, light, fluffy whipped cream. And based on your single flavor testing, uh, write down the flavor and, and the percentage that you think that it would work at. My personal fla- my personal favorite is Capella's whipped cream. I love that shit. Yeah, I, I like to use that, utilize that as a topping on um, a lot of recipes. Um, so for you new mixers out there, if you haven't grabbed Capella's whipped cream, phenomenal flavor. Go pick it up. It it, it has a lot of uses um, to it. it. Has nice vanilla, nice fluffy, nice light light cream to it. Very good flavor. Very good mm-hmm. flavor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kitta says what? No, no butter with, with that waffle. Yeah, <laughs> I would definitely put butter in the waffle too. That, that would now that, that butter would probably be more in the body part because in, in that description, you might say, well, I want a, you know, a, a buttery waffle, but yet crispy. So that, that, that would kind of go into the, to the body layer. That probably wouldn't be an accent. Although I guess it could, uh, so kind of, uh, it, I mean, it it could, in a sense, if you if like say if say if that waffle flavoring that you're using that use utilizes that butter flavor in there, which we all know is DAP or whatever, you know, it, and you kind of want that more bolder flavor, then you can probably kind of like accent, like you can probably throw, and and and, and that goes towards more of um, not bending so much, but just adding like kind of like a adding more richness to it from another flavor to kind of bring it out more. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It, mm-hmm. I guess it kind of could be kind of considered as an accent, but you know, you're just adding to it to kind of, to, to kind of like help it like a crunch. Mm-hmm. And, like and if, if you're not getting that butter flavor. Yeah. And, and, and some of these layers will, uh, will kind of work with each other as well. Let's just say for, for instance, in that body layer, you, you want to add some butter to, to make that, um, the, that waffle, you know, kind of buttery. So then when you get down to the top layer and you say, well, I want a buttery whipped cream too. And you put, say, uh, sw- sweet cream in, in that top, in that uh, accent layer, but you're putting um, uh, t- uh, 
TFA butter, golden butter, I'm sorry, Capella golden butter in the body. Okay. Now each one of those by themselves, when you single flavor, when you when you're testing them, you know, once you mix them up, they, they taste good. Now when you combine them, that runs into a little different problem that we're going to talk about next week, I think. And that's consolidation. It's going to clash. That's yeah, consolidation. Clash. Okay. Yes. And you know, we're talking about layers here. Next week, I think we're going to talk about layering, which is different. So try not to get confused about that. We'll we'll try Correct. to we'll try to explain that. But yeah, um, yeah. So 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 this is this is basically the first steps that you take in developing a vibrant uh, layered recipe. And yeah. uh, and it, you know when when you get down to the to the last step, uh, if it's if it's if it's not. Uh, if it's not quite right, go back up to the top and uh, and look at that recipe. Um, profile it again, okay? Does it does it taste yeah. like what you're going after? If not, go back to your description. Well, does that layer actually taste like what I described there? Uh, if it doesn't, then change these flavorings, and that's basically it, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, questions. Well, that's the thing. Go back to next week. What we're going to talk about. I mean, when you when you start supplementing recipes, we'll get into that next week. You know, because when you start adding stuff like that, like like Bocart was talking about, it's going to conflict it. It's going to it's going to clash with the other flavors. It's going to mm -hmm. compl complicate your mm -hmm. whole mix. I, I always call it the three C's. It's just going to. Sometimes you know consolidation is the key, exactly. You know to 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 creating uh, uh, the the layering. But go ahead, uh, uh, Folkart. Yeah, I, yeah. I, that. I, no, that that's fine. I, I was just going to say next next week we we're going to go uh, a step further in this, and and talk about when you get when when you get all those layers just right, and then let's say you combine them together the the layers by themselves are, are perfect spot on but when you put them all together it's like ah this don't taste quite right there's a way to fix that okay and that's what we're going to talk about next week it's called consolidation it uh yes. what 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 and it, it it has to do more with uh layering than it does um uh formulating the different layers, layers. yeah it, yes. it, it, it yeah so uh so yeah we'll talk about that next week I don't. I don't. So think... Black Mamba. No. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So what's going on, man? So um, was this uh, like was this like a foreign language to you, or like was um, it easy for you to understand, or like what's going on, man? It was pretty easy for me to understand, you know, because um, I in the last couple of days that I've been I've been mixing everything, I've been you know trying to actually blueprint. I really didn't know what to call it when I was doing it, but it's starting to make sense now, you know. Where like I started formulating my recipe piece by piece, instead of sitting there just like, oh yeah, let me just dump all this in here. Yeah. It takes a lot of the guesswork out. Um, yeah. It does. Yeah. And, and and it goes back to flavor testing is key. I mean, you can go off guys like you new mixers. There's no problem going off of other mixers uh, flavor notes. That's not a problem because you, there, there's there's certain um, things that you will pick out that other other mixers or mixologists say in a flavor, like it, whether it be nutty or bready or you know uh, tangy or sweet or whatever, you know you're, you're going to get those. But at the end of the day, you know by by doing that homework and doing your single flavor testing and also adding it into your blueprinting, it, it's going to help you get that recipe done quickly, and it's going to help you. Just, just to save time and money, you know, a bit when it goes back to Black Mamba saying just dumping this, dumping that, trying to get this, it tastes money, it tastes like shit, I'm going to throw it away. It, it just, it helps you save the waste. And that's what we try to do in DIYs. We're here to save money. You know, we're here to yeah. create that juice to save money. We're not here to go out and spend all that money on these flavor concentrates just to flush them down the toilet. And this is a way for you to save even more by doing recipe blueprinting. And I think Folkart did an excellent job on um, explaining it. Oh, well, um, thank you. Yep. 
one of the other things, like you said, going back into uh, like looking at other people's recipes and, and formulating off of that, you know, one of the things you got to always remember is that like you're trying to please your palate, you know, nobody else is going to have the same exact palate as you. So by doing all these steps in the blueprinting, you're going to have what you like. You know, you can't be like oh yeah let me mix up his recipe and that's it i'm done no because what if the cream isn't as creamy as you want it to be what if the strawberry isn't as juicy as you want it to be or as sweet as you want it to be it could be that way but mm -hmm. you have to actually make it that way yeah and well that goes back to that goes back to your banana recipe that you released i think you tweaked that um cream i think it was in in that recipe you up the cream i think a, a few one hundredths of a percent in there to get that that creaminess or whatever that you're looking for, um, and 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 here's the thing, like you know, going back to everybody's palate's different, this and that. I mean, I, what is it like? I think there's like a person could smell like I think it's like one million or different types of smells or something like that that you can pick up, and and everybody's different. So it's it's all about your personal taste and how you want to create the recipe. Um, a lot of people might not like it, but you might think it's, it's liquid gold. You know, it's just, a, it, you know, you're creating these recipes as a new mixture for yourself. You know what I mean? And the majority of people might like it. There might be some people that don't get discouraged as a new mixer. If, you know, you get one or two or 10 people to say, oh, this recipe is shit. But you might have 20 other people saying this recipe is great because mm -hmm. they might share the same palette as you and that's what's great about you know diy mixers crew is me lewis daddy kane and folk art we kind of share the same palette on a lot of stuff and and and, and that's good you know what i mean because it helps us when, when we collaborate together and it helps us create recipes that are enjoyable for all of us and 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 it helps us you know to get that out there it, you know to please other people you know it's always yeah. good to have another person to mix with you know what i mean you know, some, you some, something that kind of uh, just uh, occurred to me, too. You know, there, there's a lot of people out there that definitely do, do not have the time or really don't want to do all this single flavor testing that, that we're talking about. It, 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 it can be very tedious. You know, it's, it's, it's not the funnest part of, of mixing. Um, but you could still take this blueprint here. And let's just say, for instance, um, you, you see a, a recipe on all the flavors or ELR that you have mixed up and vaped you you like it but you wish it was just a little bit different you know take this this formula and uh this this blueprint and break take that recipe and break down the the different layers separate those flavorings that that they're using for each layer and then vape those by themselves and maybe you want the cream part to be a little more vanilla you know plug that in there um change change the the layers around and then remix it under your formula bam you know that's and simple and that goes back to um what we're going to be discussing next week guys for your new mixers out there about doing layering yeah um because you know you might mix up this recipe and you might say to yourself wow fuck this there's something odd about this yeah you know what i mean and then at the end of the day if you can't if you did batch one two three you know, with your blueprinting, and you can't find the specific problem that's wrong in your recipe creation, you can go back and pick that recipe apart and, and vape certain flavors together. Like you might, it might not be in the same layer, you know, it might be a banana, or it might be like a graham cracker, or it might be like some other type of fruit that's in there, or some other type of um, like acetylpriazine or something in there. It, 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 it's creating an off that's not working, you know, and you, you break that, you break the recipe down, you know what I mean? It's it, 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 it all else fails and it doesn't work. Yeah. You know, break it down and, and try to test those flavors together. Instead of having, like, say if you have like a, a, a we'll just use a, a, not so much three, we'll use a more complex, like maybe a five or six flavor recipe. And, you know, everything seems to be working in that, 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 that layer process. But when you mix it all together, just something's not sitting right. 
you know what I mean? There's, there's something off about this recipe. And then you've tried everything. You've tried batches one through five, and you're like, there's just something not working in this recipe. What the hell is going on? Something's clashing somewhere. And then that's when you break it down, like, it's the last resort to say, okay, I'm going to vape, you know, the acetylpyrazine with the banana, or I'm going to vape the banana with this certain cream. And then you can pick out that, that difference. Okay, okay, this is where the culprit's at. Then you're going to have to try to utilize something else in order for it to get it to work. Yeah. 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 One of the things that I can't stress the most, and you know, I still kind of have a problem with it, is this is totally off topic, I want to say. But um, going back to what you were saying when you were talking about publishing recipes and, and getting reviews, one of the things that I can, I cannot stress is like, there's going to be criticism, but being a DIYer, you have to be open to criticism. The reason why is that you're making something for your liking. That is the whole point of DIY. DIY stands for do it yourself. Yeah. You know, it's for you. So there's going to be criticism. There's going to be people that don't like what you make. There's going to be people, there's going to be people that don't like what you make just because you made it, you know, but you, <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah, but, absolutely. But, you know, like, you're putting it out there. You know, you're showing people that, hey, I can do something. I, I'm i able to do what you can do, you know. I'm, I'm probably able to do it better than you can do it. But don't be afraid of criticism. The reason why is that criticism, most of the time, helps. But people don't want to accept that. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I mean, I I tell people all the time now, you know, hey, go on ATF, go on ELR, look at my recipes. If you don't like something in it, send me an inbox. Let me know what you don't like in it. Yeah. Let me let me know why you don't like it. Don't just be like, hey, I don't like your recipe. Yep. Yeah. Let me know why you don't like my recipe. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't please everybody. You know, you're going to have people that are going to pick it apart and say, I did this, I did that, I did this. But you know what? And it goes back to what folk art was talking about. Is there a tweak? It, it, at the end of the day, it's just like for, for new mixers out there, just because somebody gives you, like, if you, if you go out and you get a bad review on something, you know, don't, you know, as a new mixer, don't be, don't get discouraged. Don't sit there and say to yourself, you know what? Well, fuck, I can't, I can't mix. This is bullshit. I'm done. I can't, I can't do it no more. You know what I mean? It, it's it take that constructive criticism and just 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 move on. You know what I mean? It yeah. it, it, it helps you become a better mixer, and it, you know, and and you're not. I mean, granted, you're trying to make it for an audience, but at the end of the day, you're making it for yourself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, people can tweak it if they like, but just don't let it discourage you as being a DIY mixer you know what i mean because it, it, like it, it, you're here to save money you know and, and get great all day vapes for you not for some douchebag that was trolling on atf besides oh i'm gonna give him one star because i don't like his fucking name or i don't like this <laughs> i don't like that that's not how it works you know what i mean yeah. You know, when you vape it, hey, it's fucking great. Who gives a fuck what anybody else thinks about it? You know what I mean? That's that's how it works. You know what I mean? There you go. And uh, and just just to uh, just to give uh, the new mixer some encouragement, if if this blueprinting seems a little uh, a little difficult or confusing or complicated, uh, start start out with a simple profile. Just start out with a simple strawberries and cream. You you know. Uh, you know, only you really only need three or four flavorings for that. Uh, maybe just two. You know, if if you if you use the right ingredients, but still, you know, use the formula so that you can get a good description uh, of what you're wanting to get the best f- and, and use the best flavor to get to that uh, to that profile that you're going for. Right on, brother. Yeah. Well said. Well said. Sorry about my. Uh flip-flopping on whatever devices hopefully my internet will get fixed this coming uh tuesday black mamba he's off screen right now hopefully he'll come back on 
real quick before we get out of here, I know he was talking about Favora and some of the care packages that he got. I'd like to I'd like to know uh, before we get out of here on what he got. Hopefully he'll he'll join us. But before yeah. he joins, comes back and joins us, you know, make sure you uh, if you like our content, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. That way you can get um, you know up and up and coming current events that we release at the Ally Mixers crew for you guys. Um, so Black Mama, now that you're back on, tell us a little bit about some of the care package, some of the flavors that you got from Bryson from Favora. Like, what what are some of the ones that stick out at you that you think that oh yeah, these are going to be great? Um, I'm interested to see what you got, bro. That I just now got in this care package. Yeah, dude, let's so, see them, man. Bust them out. So he sent me. Let's see what you got, man. He sent me 13 flavors. Um, they're still nice. inside of the the wrapping that they come inside of from Flavora. So if you okay. guys ever get anything from Flavora, and this is what it's going to look like when you get it in the mail. Um, here, let me actually just go ahead and open it up and check and see what nice. I got. Nice, bust it out, man. Bust it. I like the way they do that. Like uh, they put some kind of air or something. Like it, it, it's like a cushion when they deliver it. It, it makes yeah. it nice. Um, I think Liquid Barn kind of does the same thing with their nicotine and and their flavorings as well. But, uh, yeah, it helps in shipping so they don't leak or anything like that. It creates a nice cushion for you when you get it in the mail. Yep. Yeah. And I, I really love this stuff. But um, the first four four flavors that I have, I have Flavor's Pound Cake. I have Red Velvet. I don't want to pronounce this one wrong, so I'm going to skip over it. <laughs> I have Greek Yogurt. And the last one that I just now skipped over was Chocolate. Douche. I call it. I call it douche. Chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate douche. douche. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Shindo's. That's Shindo's chocolate douche tobacco recipe. <laughs> that's um, phenomenal. For, so for you new mixers out there, if you got all the flavors for Shindo's recipe, make sure you check him out on ATF. Because I tell you what, that's one badass tobacco recipe, man. It's yeah, really it good. Yeah, it is. So, so by the way, like, it's dice. Yeah, Dutch. whatever, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis chimed in. <laughs> so, so, Black Mamba, hold that one up at the camera that you said you – was that the one you couldn't pronounce? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't have the I don't have the Portuguese ninja accent to pronounce, pronounce that, so. Deutsch. <laughs> Deutsch or douche or whatever it is. Dutch. I call it Dutch. Chocolate Dutch or whatever. Good enough. Um, the next four, they're also Flavora, obviously. Um, you're gonna have whipped cream, you're gonna have cheesecake, caramel, and smooth vanilla. Nice, super nice. You can use those in a lot of recipes, man. That's good, yeah. That's good. So, how many Favora um, concentrates are you up to right now? Oh, god, say? um, let me see. I had 64, 65 last time, and now I have 13, so about 78. Nice, there you go. Cool. Get yeah, your stash I'm, together. Get your stash I'm, together. I'm getting up there, so, and also I don't know if you guys watched, but I got ba- uh, a little bit of vape train in. Nice, Ooh, lucky there dog. You go. <laughs> there you I've go. been waiting. Nobody, been... nobody can get vape train. That's like that's like top secret, you know, flavors. Well, nobody in the U.S. can get those unless you order them from uh, uh, chefs, I believe. Yeah, that's I actually dropped the uh, I actually dropped the Valentine's Day recipe. That I had mixed live on a uh, on Saturday on Steam's channel, the uh, Keep It Simple Saturday. Yeah, it was a three it was a three flavor recipe. I did a uh, a strawberry filled assorted chocolate. Oh wow, cool! Is that on ATF? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'd I'd like to see that. It's called Fifty Shades of Mamba. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Mamba. Okay, okay, we'll check that out. To give that a mix and then um as, as far as like any recipe creations besides that you working on anything else oh speaking of that not to get off topic have you mixed up um since we missed you last week um have you got a chance to mix up folk arts clone yes i have and just like you said the week before he is so to so, he is so to so to the devil man i don't want to hear it <laughs> that recipe is spot on oh yeah you told like you it? yeah i, I love hey, that he is like he is Satan himself. I think that's what it is. Like he's just I don't know what it is about Folk Art. Like he just he's like the clone king is basically what Folk Art is. 
He's the you know, king. when when I gave him the task, I expected on him to send me, you know, maybe like the first version of what he had did. But seeing that he was on V3 when he sent it to me, I was just like, yeah, he's, he's insane, <laughs> dude. Like, I, I think, I'm a mix and like, fill, man. I don't think I honestly, I don't think he sleeps. I think he, he's possessed <laughs> and he just he's up like 24 hours a day mixing. Like, that's all he does. <laughs> It's like I, I can't keep up with him. I tell you that. Like he'll come in our private Discord and he'll be like, "Hey, you take the this, that, that." I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "Dude, I don't even know what fucking day it is." And Folkord has like ten recipes out already. I mean, that's nah. basically what it is. Um, yeah, I'm so. happy to finally say I have broken the 100 mile marker of concentrates. Woo! I'm gonna swap cameras real quick. Well, I'm gonna okay. swap views cool, real cool. quick. Awesome. Is, <laughs> you know, I got a, a bag and then more underneath. I need to get a better organizer. Okay. Awesome. Okay, now you see these these shelves right behind me? That's that's what you have to build next. You have to build shelves. <laughs> and yeah. And, and build build however many that you th- or you know that, that you think you might need and then triple it. And that's how many shelves yeah. that you might need. It's an addiction. That's all yeah. it is. It's an addiction. But it's an addiction that saves you money. That's right. So, so uh, like, like even if you buy, like, here's the thing, guys, out there for you new mixers. Even if you spend, I, you know, I'm even going to go out there, even if you smoke a pack a day, and you go out and you spend $600 on flavors, you're still ahead of the game when it comes to smoking mm-hmm. cigarettes. Or buying commercial e-liquid you're still ahead of the game even if you spend five hundred dollars on concentrate you know and just say if you're using a concentrate that costs two bucks you know you know it's it's you're you have what that's roughly what 200 and 225 some concentrate you can make a mass amount of e-liquid with a 10 mil tester you know concentrate that comes in and it's it's yeah, you're saving yourself a ton of money and tons of recipe creation, tons, tons, tons. So anything else? Any questions out there in the chat? I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to to look at the chat today because I'm I, I got new internet coming and I'm not going to get into that, but it's not going to be installed until Tuesday. So I got a couple different devices to running so I can go live today with you all. Um, but if you have any questions, please make sure you put at B2B or DIY mixers crew before we get out of here. Anything else? Anything Black Mamba? I can't see the chat, so I don't know. If yeah, you want to give a shout out to anybody in the have? chat, go ahead. What's that? I said, yeah, man, your internet provider sucks. Who do you have? Oh, uh, don't go there, dude. <laughs> uh, no, I, hey, hey, I'm not going to go there, but I, I like, ended up getting the, the Fios uh, Giga Fighter, whatever it is. <laughs> I, you can't beat the price, but it's my installation has been um, it, it's so packed up here in Pittsburgh that the best date that I can get was the 20th. And I think my billing, the way my billing worked with my other provider was cut short on the 13th. That's where my billing date was, was on the 13th. So I got cut off on my internet. So it is what it is, but I'll deal with it. I'll get over it. Um, anything oh, you got, Phil Court? That's, that's BS because I'm, uh, never mind. I, I can't share company information. No, that's okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Well, I didn't have a contract, and it was like, hey, I didn't want to get charged. I didn't want to get the pro. I'm not going to get into it, but they prorate for, you know, days used, this, that, and the other. Fuck that. Just, you know what? Kiss my ass. See you later. Whatever. I'm not going to pay you that extra three or four days. I'll, I'll say a few things <laughs> after we go off. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's well, fine. I could that's I fine. could talk about how crappy my internet is all day long. AT and T, I hate you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I really do. I really hate AT and T. You know, uh, their hey. their their slogan is "You care, so we don't have to." Um, true that. Yeah. True that. True that. Well, hey, real quick, guys. Thanks for stopping out today. I really appreciate everybody in the chat, even though I didn't get a chance to see you guys. Thanks so much for supporting us. 
and supporting the content and supporting what we do. Uh, make sure you please subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button if you like our content. Make sure you tune on into us on our regular show on Sundays at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The DIY Mixers crew, we always come out with some great – we had some excellent mixers on last week. If you didn't get a chance to catch that episode, Concrete River and Shinda was on there. Showcased a few excellent, excellent recipes that they came out. So if you get a, ch get a chance to watch that episode, go back and watch that. Hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure you get out there, Union Mixers, and check out our discount codes with the companies that we've provided. Those links are actually in the description. You can always go there. Check out us. Check us out on Facebook, Discord, and we have an ongoing 24-hour Zoom room. We usually do that live after the show. If you guys have any Q&A, we're there for you. We stick around for about maybe a half hour to an hour to answer any questions or anything like that. Do you want Other me than to, that, that's all I got. Do you, want me to stick that, uh, do you want me to stick that link in the chat here? To Which the, one? To the Zoom room. Sure, if you want. Um, I know that there's a few new shows. Um, speaking of shows, Black Mamba, do you have a show or something going um, on? Yay, nay? Like, is it he can't, still, he, like... He can't talk about it. What, what at the, the moment, what? <laughs> huh? At the I moment, no. last week. So, so yes, we tried, but it was a trial and error. So, um, at the moment, I've decided to put my show in in the background for a little bit until I get fully, you know, updated on everything that I need to actually be talking and things like that. You know, I'm still a beginner mixer and everything like that. So, I'm trying to get everything down packed. Once I get everything down packed, then yes. My show will oh, be yeah. awesome. I can't wait to see that. I am so excited to see you. I think you are such a phenomenal person. I enjoy conversating with you as long I'm sure Folk Art does as well, and everybody Absolutely. out there in the community that supports us. Um, I know there's actually a new show. I don't even know. Is, is that up and running yet? The Mix and Vixen? Is uh, that up um, and running yet? This Sunday. This Sunday. What time would that be? Uh, that is at 6, I believe. Is it six, six or seven? I believe it's at six. Six Eastern Standard Time. Six Eastern. And, and uh, a Mill Icon is going to be on there, right? Mm hmm. There's, I, I think I, there's about four uh, four people that's going to be on there. Yeah, Jen, Jen Jennifer Weinstead. Um, yes. Emily, Emil Nikon, or Mill Nikon. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't know who the other two are, though. Yeah, what's 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 great about that is uh, like with um, in the mix, even though with uh, regular uh, DIY mixers on a regular show on four thirty uh, standard Eastern Standard Time on Sundays, uh, we don't get a chance. I, I me personally, I don't get a chance to watch in the mix because it's on so late and I get up so early for work, so I have to watch the replay, and it's going to be so nice that I can tune in to see Mill Nikon yep. in chat and chat and get in the chat with those guys. Yeah. So if you guys haven't heard about that, you new mixers, make sure you go over to in the mix, get there, subscribe to that. Also get in there and mix, uh, subscribe to uh, the mixing, mixing Vixens. It'll be on Sunday for you guys. Yeah. Other than that, that's all I got folk art. I know, I know Skittles. I know everybody that talks shit that I have long goodbyes. That's because I miss everybody <laughs> until we go live again. <laughs> But whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you next week, guys. Happy Va Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yes, yes. How you yep. do the heart, like this or whatever. I got fat fingers. I don't know how to do it. Whatever. I can't do it either. <laughs> there you go. Uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, we'll see you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Bye-bye. Uh,